No. Are we going? We're going. Go. Okay. Uh, this bird um, hit a guy wire. Wait a minute. Come on. It's all right. Hit a guy wire 10 days out. Full bore. Um, I don't think there's anything in the left eye. It almost looks like the lens is for it because I took her to see Dr. Martinez. Okay. And, and he just has the little ophthalmoscope. He doesn't have this fancy stuff. That, Dr. Tracy King, animal eye specialist. <laughs> <laughs> and they're the only people in the world who do not have a website. So, but if, uh, her practice is in Marietta for all things eyeball. Don't have your cherry eye cut out by your regular veterinarian. Just don't do that. Um, anyway, um, the pupils come down a lot on the in the right eye, but I mean you can see how how torn the iris is. Now she can see static food, so she can self feed. Okay. Um, I don't think she's going to be releasable. Um, and what worries me if that lens is forward on the left side, you know, about the blocking the drainage angle and the. She's beautiful. I know, is she incredible? Are you medicating her with anything? Started her off. Um, uh, of course, I gave her stuff for parasites, so I gave her ivermectin. Um, I gave her, I started her on Exceed because she's got a little boo-boo here on her on her toe. That's, that's um, actually it's large mammal antibiotic that you only inject every four days. Okay. Um, Medicam and uh, started with the Pred Drops three times a day and I backed off to twice a day now after uh, 10 days. I know, little girl. We can't cover her head, I bet, here. Can you tell? Um, sometimes, you see how the uh, nictitating membrane comes across the eye? Wait, don't bite yourself. Let me get a grip. And whatever you do, you don't let the doctor get bitten. That's bad form. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. No, no eye just, drops right now, right? I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I, I didn't give her pred drops before we left. Okay. But she's on those now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we floor seen the eye and there were no defects in the cornea, so. Um. Can you see that white circular area in the front? I can't, mm -hmm. I can't see what. Looks like a cataract. So it's a small cataract. Okay. Um, some so that lens is forward? Hyphema. Well. I see the switch lights here. And that slit thing is to look for um, flare or and that's the inflammation inside the eye. On the left side, there's right side. There's a lot of inflammation. Mm -hmm. uh, old, and then the um, synechia. Synechia is um, uh, where the the uh, iris is stuck. Is there any medical treatment you can use for synechia? No, no. Sometimes you can use um, something to try to pull the iris away. Um, has to be in the first day or so. Mm -hmm. But usually, when, once it adheres. It's difficult to get that to pull away. And birds' eyeballs are a lot different from the mammals. Uh, they can uh, voluntarily contract and dilate their own pupils. So the regular stuff that you can, you can use on mammals just won't work on these guys to look at the retina and stuff or the pectin. The lens is attached. The lens it's, is it's not it's not luxated. Okay, no. it's attached. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's just the pupil is fixed and dilated. Okay. And there's a cataract there, small and um, some old inflammation on the left side. Well, I wonder, you say, oh, now this injury is 10 days old. You think it's older than that? Maybe that's why she flew into the guy wire. She couldn't see very well. It, it, it's at least 10 days. Okay. Yeah, it could be. Well, and this guy, uh, the Good Samaritan that picked her up, uh, he found her on his cattle ranch, and he worked that field, you know, every day. So oh, okay. Um, and, you know, <clears throat> and she wasn't there the day before.
And what are you doing now? Now I'm trying to look at the back of the eye, look at the retina, see if that's attached. And that pesky nictitating mm, membrane just gets in the way. Okay, we have to come down a little bit. Part of the iris is torn away mm -hmm. from its attachment along the equator on this side. Well, you know, at first blush, I thought, that, you know, this bird's not going to be releasable. At, at that point, she couldn't, I don't think she could see anything of 10 days ago. Um, and uh, she can, you know, like I said, she can see out of that left eye, or, or out of her right eye, um, you know, because she can, you know, see the food and feed herself and stuff like that. And, but I know she's not, she's not going to be releasable. She still has enough fibrin within the pupil that I can't get a good look back there okay. on, on that side. But I can, can tell that she can see though on that side, like you said. <laughs> Is there um, anything, I mean, should I be using something besides the pred? No, I, th I think that's good. How often are you using that? Twice a day. I mean, I can do three times if I need to go back up to that. In both eyes you're doing? Yeah. Okay, no, twice daily is fine. Okay. And will that help with that fibrin stuff? Yeah, that should thin that out some more. And what's, what is fibrin? To explain to our audience. Fibrin is like the byproduct of inflammation. Oh, okay. Um, it tends to be sticky, and so in this case it's attached to the pupil okay. in front of the lens. It looks like a cataract, but it's not. Yeah, some blood back in the vitreous there. And oh yeah, she had blood in both eyes, in the, in uh, both the front and the back. She's a uh, partial retinal detachment. Okay. In, that eye. So in the in the dilated one. Mm -hmm. That's what I people's dilated. Okay. 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 Pretty girl. Cheeky gay girl. And How old do you think she is? Oh, she's definitely an adult. But she was making a tremendous living in the wild. You could barely feel her keel. But you can see from the from how dull. Um, the beak is. Mm -hmm. uh, I have not. You know, they're. I wish they were like rings and you or like trees, and you could cut their leg off and count the rings to see how old they are. <laughs> but, but I, you know, she she seems pretty old to me. Um, and of course, it's the adults that usually don't do well in captivity. Um, you know, just because they've just had their world rocked mm -hmm. and they don't. You know, and, and to be an educational bird, you know, she's got to be able to stand on the glove and behave herself and. And preferably stand on a perch without, you know, freaking out. So, um, but you know, and of course, the Good Samaritan's concern. He, you know, he wants her to, to uh, be alive, and you know, which is, you know, when you get all the trouble to, to get him some help, you want him to live. But and I explained to him that, you know, she has to. That, that most adult birds don't adjust to life in captivity. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. anyway, we'll just see how it works out. Thank you for your oh, help. Do we need to sure. come back? Um, let's see back in about two weeks. Okay. Yeah. Okie dokie. She's a good girl. <laughs>